This video shows the way of a cigarette butt through the environment. Within our environment, rivers can be seen as transport path for litter and especially plastic litter. Since they connect the terrestrial environment with our oceans, they are an important link between those two compartments. Next to the rivers, we are also an important part in our environment and with our behavior, we have a strong influence on its sustainability. If we produce waste that is afterwards thrown into the environment and enters rivers, it can deposit during the transport on sediment and soils or it gets in our oceans. Here, especially plastic as a persistent material leads to continuous accumulation. While food packages, plastic bottles or to-go cups are commonly known waste items, consisting entirely or in parts of plastic, cigarette butts are often not further considered. Worldwide, it is assumed that 4.5 trillion cigarette butts are released into the environment each year. Based on the assumption that this is the annual input, it is easy to imagine how many cigarette butts have been emitted into the environment in the last 10 years alone. But what is the problem with cigarette butts in the environment? There are two important points. First, the filters are made of cellulose acetate. And second, toxic chemicals can leach out of the cigarette butts. So, if cigarette butts are getting into the environment, the filter's material as a plastic type is very persistent and thus leads to a continuous accumulation and consequently to a very slow degradation. Furthermore, the chemicals that are concentrated within the filter are leaching out during the transport or deposition in the environment and can harm biota. It becomes obvious why you should prevent cigarette butts from ending up in our environment. But where exactly do cigarette butts enter the environment? A common image we all have in our heads is someone smoking a cigarette outside and dumping the cigarette butt afterwards on the pavement or street. Rainwater or wind can bring these cigarette butts into the sewer system from where an entry into fresh water is possible. Otherwise, cigarette butts are directly transported by wind or rain into fresh water systems. Thus, there are several entry points along a river course where litter and especially cigarette butts can get into fluvial environments. Here, exemplary settlement areas are shown, where the main transport happens with surface runoff. Furthermore, cigarette butts can directly be thrown into rivers. This action is called littering. Once cigarette butts are transported within a river, they can accumulate during transport, for example on riverbanks, which thus act as temporary or permanent sinks. Without any retention, the items are discharged directly into the oceans. The problem of cigarette butts within the environment is not only a very long residence time, but also the leaching of toxins, carcinogens and nicotine. These substances pollute the water and are toxic for aquatic microorganisms and fishes. According to one study, 1.8 to 4.3 cigarette filters per liter already led to a mortality rate of 50% of the investigated fish species. So, what can you do about this problem? The solution is very simple. Do not throw cigarette butts into the environment and just use a normal garbage can to dispose them. This video has shown the way of a cigarette butt through the environment and is part of the environmental education material presented by the LIFE project. The other modules of this program concerning transport path and sinks, litter traps, policy reactions and monitoring are also available online.